Right Ian, here we are, beautiful winter's day in January at Sandy Park. Lots of people enjoying themselves behind. Can you explain what it's all about? Yeah, it's actually the Chiefs for Rugby Club Former Players Day. Um, we get one a year up here at Sandy Park. We'd probably like more. But um, yeah, bringing together people from the past and the County Grand Days with uh, combination now with the boys that have just finished. Likes of Tom Johnson, Murray Lowe behind me at uh, the professional era at Sandy Park. And right, Chris Bentley, I was just saying to Ian there, I can remember filming about nine years ago when you, Mark Foster and people were the players of the day and here you are at the ex-players get-together. What does it feel like to come back? It's, div it's difficult. The, the logo on my tie is the old logo, which is when I played for the club. It's absolutely brilliant to be back, to see the club succeed in, at the absolute top level. I was nowhere near the level that these guys are at now. Um, but, but just to, to know that I was a part of this culture for a period of time is magnificent. And, and to, to, be, to be with some of my old mates, Jono, uh, Mark Foster, Cy Jenkins, Richie Baxter, um, it, it's, you just regress, you just have some really good times with some really good guys and you reminisce about some glorious moments and you, and you get proper jealous of guys that are having them now. So how's, how's life since you've left the team? Oh, it's all right. It's, uh, it's picking up at the moment. It's busy, yeah. so it's uh, my looking two, fit. Two little. I'm well, trying to. It's, uh, I think it's important as uh, my my industry to um, sort of uh, do as you say and all that. Yeah. Okay. And business going okay? Business is good. Just yeah. taking on another PT. So oh, um, brilliant. So exciting to be able to sort of. That's it. That's it. Pine Hill. That's it. Pine Hill with a view to be moving to. Um, to a new location, hopefully be able to confirm that in the next couple of weeks. How, how many people are expecting here today? Well, we've only got about 80 this year because there was another event for somebody's stag do or, or 40th birthday not long ago, so some of the younger boys aren't here. But um, yeah, okay. yeah, so we've probably got about 80 today. Right, and how far back does the oldest player go? So probably the oldest player today would be back to well, my father being one, probably when he started playing in the Colts, 1955, 57, something. Like that. And do you know most of the existing players, the current players? Uh, there's a few of the new guys that I didn't touch, but um, there's a fair chunk of the squad that are really succeeding now. As, as I was going down, they were going up, so I was in the A-League, Nolsey, mm -hmm. Cowan, Dickey, Slady, mm -hmm. um, Dave Ewers, mm -hmm. uh, and it's great to see those guys have just kicked on and become some of the greatest players in the country at this moment. Did you still keep your tires open with ex-players and current players? Yeah, well, I think I think you've got that bond, haven't you, when you, um, you don't need to be in contact with each other every week, but every couple of months you see each other or get a message from each other. Yeah. Um, it's just a, they're a good bunch of boys, so it's always nice to come back and say hello to them. I can remember interviewing John Lockyer about nine years ago when the likes of, of Mark Foster, Tom Johnson, Chris Bentley were players and it seems quite odd now to see them actually in the X players. Very odd. Um, I remember being stood as a 18, 20 year old in the old county ground bar looking at players that had finished at that stage who were maybe mid 50s like myself. Um, thinking, God, they're old, but yeah, yeah it catches yeah. up with you all. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it does. Well, I'll, I'll go and speak to a few of the players now, just to say, uh, well done and organise it, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Thank you very much, Barry. Yeah, I think 80-odd people here today, which is not bad going, is it? It's great, and they're from, from all ages as well, from county ground to the premiership and the championship here, so it's... Uh, in fact, the oldest goes back to 1950, so you've got quite a few reunions left in you. Just, you? just before you born, wasn't it? It was that. I was born in 1950, actually. Yeah. Have a good time, mate. Thanks, brother. And, and of course, one of your most famous accolades with the club is that you were the very first person to appear on Chiefs TV. When you had a crew cut, I remember. Yes. In 2010. Yeah. Wow, that's yeah. going back some. Yeah, and we used to do it in the laundrette. Yes, yeah. in the laundrette. And yeah. I, I'm also the, one of the few players to be initiated into the second team of the club, which is God bless Keith Brooking. Thank you, Keith. That was a great moment. Yeah. Um, but yes, um, and Chiefs TV, it's great to see Chiefs TV here. And it's great to see you still doing the Dubai. Because you're magnificent. I've got less there as well. Have a good meal. <laughs> Thanks. Take it easy, mate. Cheers. Cheers.